social screen. So, uh, yeah, hi. Uh, welcome to a Blades in the Dark, uh, Blades in the Dark, uh, Blades in the Dark ongoing campaign. Uh, it's never sunny in Duskfall. This is episode seven, which I'm super excited because it's more, it's never sunny. We couldn't play last week because I was at PAX and I had family visiting. So, um, really sorry about that, but now we're getting ready to kick it back in and, and have fun. Um, and, and, and go around. Um, if this is your first time tuning in, no, don't worry because we're going to do like a previously on kind of thing, uh, as we do for every episode and just go, and we're also going to do a quick little like introduction, you know, go around the table, see how everybody's doing. So, uh, I'm Eric, I'm Eric Volgaris here on the internet lands and I am the host and streamer and GM for the game today. Uh, my responsible, uh, my responsibilities and my agenda for the game today is that um, I'm supposed to be a fan of the players. I'm supposed to make Duskval feel real and gritty and um, challenge and ask questions. I think that's part, I don't know. I actually don't have the rules open as far as what the actual explicit agenda is, but it's a game with an agenda and that's it. Um, that's basically it. Um, let the fiction flow first um, and uh, wave your hands around and uh, be evil. <laughs> That's basically, I think that's, I think that's John no, Harper no, guys, Eric has to wave his hands around. Yeah. We, we I, wave I get hand. to wave my hands around. So you guys are, you guys aren't, this is not a GM list game. This is a one GM <laughs> game, everybody. No, no, just, no, no one else can wave hands. I was just demonstrating, oh, you know, I was being oh. helpful. Oh, thank you. Thank you for conveying my points. That's really, thank you. I appreciate it. So um, <laughs> let's go around the table. Let's go clockwise because this is a game with clocks. So Jewel, what's up? Kelsey. Unmute. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm working on it. It's a system. Uh, hello, uh, I'm going to be playing Jewel, uh, who is a hound, which, if you're not familiar with how Blades works, is a sharpshooter and tracker kind of character. Uh, I uh, also have a monkey, which is exciting. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Um, we're awesome. we're going to have some fun. Yeah. How are you doing, by the way? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. 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 Glad to hear it. Cool. Mm -hmm. How's Mistborn going? Mistborn is sadly going to be coming to a close in a few weeks, but uh, oh. in the meantime, we have some really cool guests lined up, and uh, I'm I'm very excited to uh, to to wrap a bow on it. So at least knowing that it's coming to an end means that we can. Um, really push the boundaries and uh, give everybody hemorrhagical spikes and um, kill people. Cool. Just, just like we always do. It's true. There's a lot of murder. As one does. As one does. As yeah. one does. Awesome. Cool. Paul, what's up? Hey, uh, I am Paul. I am aka Leafington here on Twitch and on most places on the internet. Uh, I. I, I I used to be online way more, but now I just sometimes post drawings of stuff on Twitter. Uh, the latest of which, actually I talked about it last time we played, was uh, for a charity zine, which is out now. Uh, I'll, I'll post a link in chat. Uh, I think it raised like $3,000, $4,000 or something so far. Uh, if If you donate $5 or more, you get access to like the uh, mermaid I drew and like 250 other ones uh, so they're, they're all super cute and super awesome uh, and I think it's open for like five days more but I'll post a link in chat uh, I'll be playing Seer uh, who is an Iruvian alchemist uh, and uh, I, like I fe he feels like he understands the world but like I think factually he doesn't really understand what's going on. Uh, but, you are a little bit know, of the wild card, that's for sure. That's that that's the fun of blades, right? Like you just jump in feet first, and then you totally brought your parachute with you, right? You flash back to bringing it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, that'll be me. Awesome, cool. Yeah, and uh, Estani. I'm sorry that you're always last because of the clocks. That's okay, because you always say last but not least. So, yeah. So, hi, I'm Estani. I do things on the weekend on the internet mostly. Um, Saturdays here playing Blades, Sundays, board games, because board games are awesome. 
been playing a lot of Don't Starve Together lately, but oh, like yeah. by myself. <laughs> that sounds really sad. No, it's totally on purpose because I played it with Math Squad on their Monday stream. And I'm just like, man, you guys suck. I need to just like go back to playing by myself. But like there's more to do and don't starve together than in the base game. So, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah, that's that's true. It's basically like the expansion, is it not? Um, kind of because like there's. There's Don't Starve, and then there's the Reign of Giants expansion, and then Don't Starve Together is like that, but kind of added onto it. But then there's another expansion for Don't Starve called uh, Shipwrecked, which is like a completely different game too. So, hmm, cool. I should check that out because I haven't played Don't Starve Together uh, for a while, but I really, I really enjoyed it. It's a really cool game. Uh, it's fun. I've been playing it so much, like a lot. Like I am killing it. I, I died a couple of times, but it's okay because I can just resurrect myself and then stick uh, myself with needles, and then I'm fine. <laughs> it, um, it reminds. I, I really like the aesthetics of it. It reminds me a lot of like the the horror film, The Cabinet of uh, Doctor Caligari. Uh, I have not seen that. Or I mean, uh, or like Tim Burton. Yeah, right? it gives me a very strong yeah. Tim Burton vibe. Uh, surrealist horror. I think it's the is what it goes by, and in in fancy hipster circles. <laughs> um, yeah. So, anyways, yeah. So I I hope I hopefully I fixed my mic a little bit. Uh, I've switched to OBS Studio, and this little thing I'm gonna replace eventually once I have money um, to have something that can carry my voice a little bit better. Um, so in the meantime, I've boosted the gain, so hopefully this sounds good. I haven't actually done a test on it yet, so if someone could say it's good, that would be good. Um, I, 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 well, I raised it though in OBS and not in zoom. So it's, I yeah. should sound the same in zoom. <laughs> um, but hopefully in, in, in stream, it should be, uh, far louder. It should be three times louder. So anyways, yeah, enough about that. Uh, I had a couple things that I wanted to share. Uh, last night I played an amazing game of Polaris by Ben Lehman on, uh, my, my show once upon a game. Um, Polaris is this really cool game and I want to talk about it real quick because no one else has made a game about this and if you're watching this you might be a game designer and maybe you should consider using these mechanics um, there's a mechanic in this game that's called uh, it's for conflict resolution this is a game that came out around dogs in the vineyard where like conflict resolution instead of action resolution is like really cool and was people were really trying really weird shit for it um, this is a game where, uh, you're playing a knight and it's a tragic story because you know you're going to fail ultimately at the end, but, um, you have all of this power. You could just, as the, as the hero of the story, you can just be like, and I cut the dude's head off, right? And you just say it. And what you say is true, but the, uh, the person on the other side of the table is playing what's called the antagonist and they can introduce complications to that. So, um, the way this works is it works like a betting mechanic where, uh, when you are doing something, when you are like, well, I cut off the head of the witch, the witch is like, you're asking, to, you can either go, you can basically like, if you're playing poker, you can fold and be like, you're asking too much. Um, go back, and give me another raise. Uh, and then I can choose between those two options. Or I can be like, I will see that and, uh, and say, and so it was, and, and just let it happen. Or. Um, you can be like, but only if, and basically you raise the stakes and you twist it back on them being like, okay, that's fine. But the entire country hates you because I was related to you and I have a, I put a spell on all their minds and, um, they all think that you are the worst for killing me and that I should have been redeemed. And I was, you know, this you know, blah, blah, blah. And then that, then, you know, the, it switches back and then they get to go, oh yeah, okay, fine. But, uh, you're asking too much or you'd be like, okay, yeah, but only if I still become king. Right. And I can like, but only if, and you just, you keep doing this like brinksmanship and it gets really good. Um, you know, it's really, it's a really cool mechanic. Cause it's like doing this conversation and you know, it's working when someone goes like, you're asking too much. Cause like, that's when you know that you're hitting something that's important. Right. Uh, and when you hit those important stakes, it's like, Oh, Ooh, it's like, I will give up the entire castle. I will give up the entire kingdom. I'll give up my own reputation. I'll give everything as long as my daughter still loves me. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you can, what you fight for that is really cool. And I'm done. I'm done spewing about that game. Um, let's jump back into blades. So anyways, I don't know. I was really, really super happy about it. I wanted to like, there's, you know, when you, when you get like, man, I could see this as an illustrated graphic movie, like an illustrated movie. You know what I mean? Like when you have those types of feelings, Oh, it's so good. Um, so anyways, yeah. It sounds really awesome. Yeah. So um, we should definitely play it. I'm going to be playing it more uh, this month. 
so we'd be seeing more games. It's a one shot game. There's not really much to learn about it. It's really cool. Um, it was my first oh, yeah, story game. Everyone dies at the end. Like... Yeah. Um, it was literally my first story game. Like before I played Microscope, I played Polaris. So, what's up? Anyways, yeah, let's do some previously on. Oh, thank you for the host, AP Gaming. Um, so let's let's go to uh, let's go to the previously on. It's never sunny in Duskfall. So what happened two weeks ago? Um, this is a this is a mechanic I've introduced in the game, where um, the as long as it's not the same person from the previous week. Um, you can give Ford a prologue about what happened previously and what's going on right now, and you can recover one point of stress for doing that. So, um, stress is like HP in this game, if you also haven't played. So, I, I forgot who did it last time. You weren't here, oh, because right. you were a little bit late. That's how I <laughs> yeah. forgot. That's why. <laughs> actually wasn't there for it. Uh, I, I actually have a bunch of stress, so if you guys don't mind, I would like to take it. Go for it. Sure. All right. Uh, last time on It's Never Sunny in Duskfall, uh, we started with a downtime phase, which I, I missed a little bit of, uh, but it was uh, it was not in our, our regular city. It was, in, it was in the imperial capital of Akaros. Which, the Imperial City. Yeah. yeah. Uh which which was fun. Uh you know, uh, you, you're not on your home turf, so you, you get to explore and, and try new things. And you know, make friends with the your the gang that you just murdered their boss of. Uh so we we brought we bought we brought home some homies, uh thugs. <laughs> uh for our gang uh who are like principled where they don't want to fight civilians so immediately uh thing popped up where we had to go beat up civilians uh and and turn our criming into hate criming do you remember the context of that and jewel was like oh hell yes uh it was the bill hooks they asked us for help uh yeah do you remember what the bill hooks uh, so the Bill Hooks are another gang in the city, uh, and they're like kind of best friends with with our crew here. Yep. Do you remember what they wanted you to do? What was going on, and why they wanted you to do this? Well, they wanted to beat up some Scovelanders because they're trying to find out who's who's supplying them with false papers. Yeah. Uh, but but you know, one part of that was that they just go around the streets and beat up whoever looks Scovelander, Scovelandish. Yeah, that, I mean that's that's Scovish? right. Scovish. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, and and Jewel immediately was like, "Oh hell yes, I'll, I'll beat up some some hobos." Uh, almost got caught by the by the blue coats, the popo, uh, but then didn't. Uh, and I and I think that was mostly it. Uh, me and Vale or Seer and Vale uh, are supposed to go set out to find whoever is supplying them. Uh, which Jewel thinks is her friend Valeris. Uh, no, and... <laughs> little bit so, more than things. Very certain. <laughs> this was a this was a ramification of a job from episode one. Yeah. By the way, uh, so, so uh, there's there's shit that's gonna go down some way or another. Yeah, totally. Cool. And. Um, I believe I believe that's it. Yeah. All right. Mark off a point of stress. Yes. And, and then we open. Um, so, yeah. So, are you guys... You guys are probably... We probably open up at the Painted Lady, which is the bar slash um, base of operations for our gang. And, uh, yeah, the talk, those riots. Uh, those riots made the papers. Um, talking about this. This is a big... Um, the... The Scovelin refugee is becoming the Scovelin refugee crisis, uh, question mark, in, you know, on, on the big, you know, the ink, or, or what are they called, the ink, ink rakes, the ink, uh, the, the, the yeah. people who give out the papers and all that kind of shit, uh, who run the printing presses, um, yeah, you know, like, like the, basically the Duskfall Times, right, is saying, like, you know, refugee crisis, question mark, about after this, you know, like, cities, cities on fire, it's a picture of, like, the docks, um, burning, um, from, from the riots and that kind of stuff. Um, and it's a big question. It's a big talk of the town. So you really, unless you were literally in a drugged out coma, 
um, you probably heard something about this in the city. This yeah, was a very big deal, right? This would be like this would be like um, I mean, I don't, it's a painful analog, but it's almost like Crystal Knocked, right? Like it's almost like um, like when like Jewish businesses were assaulted in like fascist Germany, um, like it was like a big racially motivated attack. Um, and everyone's like, what the fuck? And, and that kind of stuff. Um, you know, some people are like, well, like, yeah, like there's, they have no business being here, but like, I don't agree with that. Like basically the whole spectrum of Duskfall, um, reactions to this exist. Um, obviously the bill hooks are like instigators of it. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, so that's that's kind of like a little bit of background of as far as things happening overnight as we made it back and everything like that. What's um, what's up? What do we want to do? So, I think I think Jewel had to take like detours through like sewers and shit, uh, and maybe taking very long. So I'm turning to Vale and be like, "Hey, are we waiting on Jewel, or do we just go?" And find she gave me a phrase that I could say to prove that I know her and I'm her friend, so we don't have to wait on Jewel if we don't want to. All right, I, I think we should go because I don't think we need her there, she might be implicated somehow, and I'd rather keep that a bit separate if things have to get messy. You understand? Oh, I do understand. <laughs> So uh, yeah, do we do we bring our thugs with us? Well, the thing is, is that as far as we're aware, Jules' friend isn't affiliated there. with a gang, so I don't know that they would be helpful, and they might just raise more attention. Uh, but so the counterpoint to that is supplying refugees with false papers is hella illegal. Uh, oh, it's super illegal. It's super, and super illegal. She is a criminal. And it's I fun. mean, we are also criminals. <laughs> but it would help kind of overcome their code because yeah. we're not, she's not necessarily, or he, I don't know, is it a she or a he? They're not necessarily innocent, I guess is the idea. We should bring some in case things need to get messy. Yeah. I mean, you're right. Just because the thugs don't attack, right? There's still like intimidation factor and that kind of stuff, yeah. right? Yeah, totally. Okay, you want to bring them along while you gather some information on this guy? Find out where they are? Because I don't think you know where they are. It doesn't sound like you guys do. Um, I thought... Unless uh, Valeris, uh, unless, um, unless Jewel told you guys? Yeah, Jewel gave me information on Valeris and said like, this is where I met with them before or something or like their address or something. And then gave me like a, like a coded phrase to say oh that's right so you have a location yeah okay yeah. cool yeah all right all right so so I, i'm getting decked out then <laughs> in case things get messy i'm i'm bringing a heavy load if you know what i mean well this isn't okay um this isn't a mission just yet um so don't worry about that just all right yet. all right um, sure so there's a couple things then okay so yeah um you you where okay jewel i want to know where you told uh told us to meet um valeris remember the last time we met we we was over at the tailoring thing he was getting a new suit oh yeah um but it doesn't have to be there you can make up a place that like a fancy uh man would go to yeah yeah like that's like our meeting place i I wouldn't tell her to if if i wasn't going to be there like all right, so I think probably there is, he has like a um like it's not an office, but it's a place that he holds meetings, like maybe a back room in like a smoke shop or something where you where you sit and like smoke fine cigars and have cocktails. You know, it's not a bar. No, that's way too crass. It's a yeah. it's a fine smoking establishment. Yeah. Um, um by the way, uh I don't remember his name, but I'm totally thinking Valeris looks like the dude from The Witcher. 
um the the bold guy that the noble that you help in the city um in velen is that any ring any bells to anybody i don't witch her okay <laughs> doesn't matter then. Like, no never like mind don't worry about it then but I, I, I know like the witcher and all his waifus and that's pretty much it <laughs> no no waifu it's not a waifu uh okay yeah, that's fine no. Um, right. But the, yeah, once again, this guy's like a politically, a politically collected information broker. Um, that's just kind of who he is. Uh, friends with Jewel. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Well, on my way there, uh, I want to I wanna tell Vale, like, hey, you know, the bill hooks are way better for us than this Valeris guy, right? If, if, Why can't we have both? I, I mean, I'm not saying we can't. I'm just saying if push comes to shove, Why do you think we're be bringing... the bill hooks over Valeris. Why do you think we're bringing the thugs? And I just give you a stern look. <laughs> I, I don't know why we're bringing the thugs now. <laughs> Oh, that's why I'm in charge around here, and I just kind of roll my eyes and keep walking. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> just wanted to, to impress on that. I think we are of an accord about that. <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's kick open the door. Really? I don't think no. <laughs> We shouldn't kick open the door. Oh, come on. I'm like, I have my foot in the air. And I'm just like, no, no, this is not how you do this. <laughs> like, fine. All right. You do it your way. Things go bad. We do it my way. Of course. Okay. And I open, I open the door. <laughs> Casually. And um, we enter and look around. Um, so, uh, one more time, um, where, where, where is this place? Jewel, what district? Uh, let me look at a map real quick. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm gonna look at the other map in the book that has, like, the heat map of how crime it is. You know what I mean. How yeah. crime is this? Um, is it uh, like... Okay. Um, how crimey is this neighborhood? Crimey is this neighborhood. Like, I feel like it's not super crimey. So, um... Is it Brightstone? I or... was thinking probably more like Charter Hall. Oh, okay. So Charter Hall has, like, the greatest mix of economic um, diversity. You know, it's, like, one of the older cities... Um, so it's got like shitty, cramped, slummy streets, and then it's got like nice, clean streets near it. Um, it's just one of those places that has a huge. Um... It's like huge, broad thoroughfares, and then tight, little, cramped, not quite alleys. Exactly. As exactly. The, as long as you stay to the well lit thoroughfares, you're fine. Yeah. Got it. Totally. And, like, this is, like, one of those places that is, like, right between, like, the bright lit thoroughfare and the shady alleys where there's an entrance on both sides. And, you know, and it, it caters to those people that walk that line. Um, and if you come in from, like, the bright lit side, you have to know what to do or say to get over to the area that that you enter if you come in from the the alley side. Yeah. Did you come in from the bright lit or the dark lit side? Let's see. I would have told them to come in from the dark lit, the dark side. Okay, cool. Then we would have done that. I was about to say, but I was muted that we would have done whatever Jewel told us. To yeah, do. I, I would assume you guys are doing. I know. I just like I want to see what Jewel. I'm kind of interested in what Jewel would have said uh, to to get to this place. Um, because it's kind of like I gave her authority here to come up with where you would like. Meet, I meet feel players. like so this place is pretty rough. Um, I'm sorry, what, you were gonna say something, Jewel? Oh, I was gonna say like I feel like Jewel does not have the poise to walk in the front door, but Vale does. But Jewel wouldn't have thought of that when recommending them how to get there. Perfect. And not yeah. only that, you wouldn't necessarily have known the coded phrase to get through to the back. Um, 
So, yeah. so you guys go past a bunch of real fucking um, cutthroats. Like, you know, these are some, some, some squiffly ass gutter snipes here. Um, you know, giving you that sort of like, you know, like picking, picking their nails with their daggers and shit. Uh, you know, like they're basically, um, you know, uh, they're street rats, they're hoods, you know, uh, they're little hoodlums. And, um, they kind of, they kind of like eye you as you guys go by. Um, and you can see down in the, in the hall, past the, past the hallway, uh, where you're going, um, there's a door, uh, it's un, it's, it's open, um, there's a guard standing by, um, you know, and there's, like, a couple, like, torches or, like, in sconces, you know, it's, it's somewhat lit, but still very shady, um, you know, you see, it's almost like a, um, what's the term, like, like, where you're going through, through this hallway, the term where, like, um, where, uh, like, a not a hostel, it's just kind of like a hostel, it's basically like a flop house, uh, kind of area, um, yeah. So like all like people are like sick, kind of coughing or like drunk. It just smells awful. Uh, your 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 senses are assaulted by uh, just destitution and and what it looks like and squalor on the streets here. Um, yeah, and and you guys go through this door. Uh, I mean, everybody's giving you an eye here, and they're like watching you as you like strut yourself. Um, what do you guys do when you're walking through? By the way, like you're gonna get fine. I'm just curious. How do you guys behave when other people are like judging you? Like you, you're you're out of place, right? But they're not saying anything. But like you're out of place. I just walk in like I own the whole fucking building. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> um. You get um. You definitely get catcalled. Um. And like a couple people like stand up. And kind of like follow you. Uh, let's right, see where you're right. going. I, I I'm gonna like muscle everyone who's trying to follow. Like, uh, how about you go stand back there and, and eat your apple with your giant knife. Uh, and and like you know. Uh, um, so these like, guys. I, I mean, these are next to people. These are you know pretty big, intimidating. You know. Well, Ruffians, so are we, right? though. I know. I well, how big? How big is Seer? Uh, oh, we got the gang. He's not big, but he's oh, oh yeah, got you got the gang though. You, you got the boys. That's right. You and got we the, get boys. the boys. <laughs> um, and so the and, yeah, so like so like the they, they get up and they they kind of follow you and they're like, hey, which one of these is your boyfriend? You know, um, hey, hey, I'm talking to you. Where are you going? Um, kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, and, and, like, the thugs kind of, like, get in, get in the way, and, like, Seer gets in there, and, like, hey, is there a problem, blah, 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 and, uh, <laughs> you know, it kind of, it, it, they, they back off and stuff, but, um, yeah, they're like, all right, I'll catch you again later, sweet thing, you know, um, and they're, like, <laughs> laughing, uh, with each other, and you guys go in this other room, and just how destitute that one hallway kind of was and Flophouse stuff, you, like, enter a very nice, like, uh, it's, like, the back door into a nice little manor. Like a, a small little like villa or something like that. Um, so imagine sort of like um, sort of like a, a, a welcome place in, that you would almost see in like a castle. So imagine sort of like a red, um, like you turn a corner and there's like another door and you open this door and there's sort of like that red sort of um, uh, carpet that kind of like lines this that goes over the stone. Um, there's like candles and like candelabras that are like lined up evenly. It looks nice, you know, um, the smell of like lavender and like nice rich things like you know are, are, are around um and uh sitting at a desk um furiously scribbling around and stuff like that uh like scribbling on different notes like that is a, a man in glasses um wearing very like nice fine noble stuff um flanked on either side of him are two uh very heavily armed guards um they're wearing like um like what cavalry men would wear uh, like, especially if you know what, like, what French cavalry, cavalry men would wear around, like, the 1800s, 1900s. So, like, like, breastplate, like, that fucking plumed hat kind of thing. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? That fucking, like, ostentatious motherfucking stuff. Um, like, but, like, very clean, silvery. It's, like, dress. It's, like, parade armor. Um, there's, like, a saber, and, like, they have, like, three guns, like, across them. Like, they're fucking, like, everything about these guys, it says not to be trifled with right uh yep. standing over this little scrawny guy uh writing down um some notes here um there doesn't seem to be like there's any other door um in this place 
does he uh, there's match- a fireplace um there's probably some other things if it's important you guys just can recommend or suggest things and it'll probably be there there's probably like bookshelves and stuff you know like a hunting trophy around so so no sign uh, of valerius though as far as you know does he match oh so he doesn't match the doesn't description match, of valerius no. no this guy's got like he's um so valerius you know is bald and this guy's okay. got like curly brown hair um I want to. So th- this place is like protected, obviously by by cavalry guys. You hear like but a it's faint like yeah, it's like violins. real sudden for seer, right? Yeah. Like there's some like supernatural thing that's protecting him. There's some motherfucking demon in here somewhere, and and he's like looking for evidence, right? Of a demon. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I don't trust this for a second. Like we just walked into a huge trap. Um, fucking again the man <laughs> the the man writing at the desk uh does not give you his name he does not recognize who came in except he does mention um just without without skipping a beat with the um the rhythm of his writing uh, obviously he's like doing some kind of bookkeeping um he says do you have an appointment what is the uh phrase that jewel gave me to say what is it jewel Oh man, now I have to come up with code phrases? Jeez, way to put me on the spot. Come on, it's Danny. Um, <laughs> 13 frogs is too many. That's the phrase. Oh gosh, that's, how do I say that graciously? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. It's the worst phrase ever. I thought you were just gonna pull up some bush lyrics again. <laughs> I should have done that. Dang it! Where's my notebook with all of the lyrics? <laughs> did, I, did I tell you that one? Uh, you mentioned it a while ago, but just remind everybody for a oh bush joke. I've been running a Blades game, and one of the members of the Reconciled is not fully sane, and only speaks in lyrics directly from everything zen um the, al- not the album by by the the great 90s grunge band bush exactly <laughs> yeah. because you know why not yeah okay um so i guess when he said asks if we have an appointment i um i paused for a minute because i was expecting valerius there and he's not yeah. and i say with you or with valerius Um, once again, he, he, he kind of rudely says, I'm sorry, if you don't have an appointment, uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave, miss. With Once again, not he never lifted his eyes up off this table, like scribbling or whatever. He recognized you're a girl and that kind of stuff, right? Like, he's he seems very, like, astute. He's very confident about what he's doing. Okay. Um, he's like, you have to understand that with the, with the recent, um, untro- you know, uh, recent calamities of the city, um, I can't. We can't be too careful. If you if you don't have an if you don't have an appointment, you have to leave. How many frogs was it again? I totally forgot. <laughs> it was thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, it was thirteen. thirteen. You're not gonna like. I'm not gonna make you roll or remember or whatever. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, I'll I'll just try it. I just kind of roll my eyes at having to say this. I say, well, so you have to understand that thirteen frogs is too many. He stops writing. Uh, he, he, um, dries, he, he, he dries his pen, um, he looks up from you, uh, he takes off his glasses, uh, pulls out his, uh, monocles and stuff, or his monocle, his, um, pocket watch, and, uh, checks the time, uh, closes it. He takes it. off his glasses and puts on his monocle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, that would be way too ostentatious. Um. He's just a little bit ostentatious, <laughs> not way too ostentatious. <laughs> Hmm. Um. Let me let me roll a die of fate real quick, because that will influence how I want to proceed with this. Let me jump over to the game screen here, and let me roll a die of fate. We are over in Charter Hall, by the way. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a little thing on the map, show us where we are. Um, you guys are what? Is, what screen map? Is this not? Wait, layer, map layer, layer, token layer. Thank you. We're like here. 
Um, so, uh, let me roll my die of fate. Hope uh, if it's one, something really special is going to happen. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, well, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, I'm so scared. <laughs> He responds with a with a with a secondary code password, a oh, password fuck. that um, Jewel did not give you. Uh, he responds with thirteen. So like thirteen crabs is too many, or thirteen frogs is too many. Um, but there, are, and he responds. But there's a dime. But there are a dime or dozen in the hen house. What do you do? Hmm. <laughs> I think I just I memorize that and I say I understand. <laughs> okay. Um so I'm give so you have the so just so you know, I mean you could you could totally try to be like um try to figure out where this code may have came from and tried to crack it. Like I would totally let you try that if that's something you're interested in. Uh, uh, like so, don't feel like you're cornered um, from this, right? Like you could you could totally try to weasel weasel something here, um, and like I will give you this, like I will give you this in just as, as purposes. Um, this seems like a passphrase because of secu like because of the security thing, and this is like a new security measure. Um, but there is a method to this madness of like what these lines are. Um, I have no idea, like, I don't know what the exact answer is, but I was thinking that if you guys were creative and came up with something and rolled well, you would know it. Right? Oh, gosh. I'm not really specced for that, though. <laughs> many, uh, he says, uh, you know, um, many, um, many are, are, are looking for, uh, the one you seek, and he's a very busy man, and, uh, it's my you job know to what? make sure only those who are I, most important get his attention. I want to sway him. And yeah. I want to say that I was sent by one of his friends. His life is in danger and I've come to warn him. Well, if his life was in danger, of course. He, well, I'm, well, I'm sure our, the one you want, who, who you, you, you wish to seek already knows his life is in danger. I can give him vital information. I'm but intimately then, linked then he uh trust it with me and i'll be sure to give it to him i can only trust it with him but i'm afraid we're at an impasse my dear and roll your sway right? okay uh, i think i'm just gonna roll do i want to take stress uh what, and what, and what so roll sway and what do you do to really like push him to be like I have to see him. Uh, what you know? What is it? What is it that you do to like you know? When someone's like, "Well, that's too bad." Um, what, what would be a devil's bargain here first? Ooh, devil's bargain. Um. Trouble finds you. Um. Yeah, trouble keep. Uh, trouble from your past catches up with you. I'll leave that as that vague. I'll take it. Sounds interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank and you. I can work with that. I think what happens is because I'm still wearing my mask, right? Like I'm oh, just yeah. like, I, know. I, I reach up and I take off my mask and I hand it off to Seer for a moment. And I just kind of like give a gesture for him to kind of stay back. And I approach this man, open face and <clears throat> I basically say that we know that he was linked with the incidents that happened earlier. They want him dead and I can save him. And I give him my best, like, I want to save this guy face and hopefully roll really well. What's my position? Um, boy. Um, desperate standard. Okay. And I have an extra die because of the devil's bargain. Sweet, sweet XP. Nice. And I crit. Oh, you critted. <laughs> well done. Ooh. Oh, awesome. So you clear a stress, don't you? Yeah. 
Wait, um, isn't that when no? You, wait, no. That's that's only when you only when you resist. That's when you resist. You clear stress. That's right. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. No, when I roll, it says when I roll a critical when using subterfuge, unless it changed. Did it change? You it's have... a playbook thing for her. Oh, you have yeah. a playbook oh, thing. Yeah. Oh, awesome. See, I knew I knew my head was in this. Okay, cool. Cool. <laughs> you got I, knew, this. I knew stress was a thing. Awesome. Well done. Awesome. So yeah, it works. Um he recognizes you. He recognizes your face. Um without saying it, he says, um, oh, you're like late you know, lady whatever and stuff, and blah blah blah. He's very like <laughs> cavalier about it, but um and he mentions like you know jewel uh kind of thing um you have to understand that we can't be too careful and he goes over to the fireplace um and he goes to the fireplace he uh presses his hand on like like across a couple of the um i'm i'm studying stones. the shit out of what what is happening yeah like he, he's like follow, he, like his hands like tracing a pattern on the stones kind of like you would do with a numpad on a cell phone Right, like a code kind of thing, and um, you see the 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 wall uh, near him kind of like shoot up with white light around it as it kind of like like it looks like like a, like a fuse, like you know, like a, like a bomb was going off, like like you watch like the trail of white light go around it, and like makes like this uh it makes like this um archway archway, and and the uh, the um wall like recedes or like it recesses into um sort of sort so like that sort of like square that got cut out by that white light, um, like, recedes into the back and goes into the shadows, and, uh, he gestures you to, to follow him. He's like, right this way, my friends. Um, uh, friends of Valeris. Um, and he, like, does, like, a... And, like, you see, like, some, like, torches turn on, um, like, in, in there illuminating this hallway. You see it, it, it veers off to, like, an l shape something or whatever. Um. It smells like dinner. It smells like roasted pheasant and stuff coming from this hallway. What do you guys do? Do you guys follow or I follow. Do you do you trust this guy? Do you want to like read more into it? Well, actually, can cuz I have um, all that stuff is totally cool. And a mirror. So, can I tell that he's being dishonest with me? Yeah, you could totally tell he's not being dishonest with you. Okay. Then I will follow. He's just Yep, you tell me he's sincere about his job of protecting Valerius. Um, yep. So okay. I'm I'm uh I think I'm hurting the thugs to where like is there like an acceptable level for the the the, the armed guys like is oh, one um, line, can we all come That's the, I'm glad you brought that up um <laughs> Uh he I think I think the man mentions and I think Valerius would be more comfortable if um some of your uh, entourage stayed around with me all right. Gesturing, he doesn't want the thugs to come with him too, right? Yeah, uh, what do you do. I, I'm clear. I'm I'm like totally not a thug, right? I know. Uh, like I, I like hand off the 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 mask. No, you the... should hold, don't hold on. No, you have <laughs> no, to do that. And I'm just like, see, I take it with you. It's handed off. <laughs> it's so expensive. We're never getting that back. And and we're going. You and me. All right, is it just going to be you two then who, who go or, or, or the thugs coming with you? I want some of the thugs, like one or two. Like, we need to have some guards to protect us because this is a little bit sketch, but not the whole gang. That's fine. Okay, that's cool. He, it, This was just a request. There wasn't anything. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so... All right, so... We, what's up? Yeah. I So I don't know if there's, like, a thing you can tell... But does it does this seem like a, just a secret door thing? Does it seem like a, we're in like a demon building because we were in a demon boat before and it was like self healing? Yeah. Stuff. Do you wanna do you wanna learn some stuff about it? Yeah. Like I totally wanna like, right. like what he what was are you, doing. What are you gonna do to learn about it? Uh. Well, I uh, I do know stuff about magic and ghost warding. Uh, I, I I'm like I'm like studying the effect, right? Like how. Because we saw like the fuse thing, we saw the patterns that he's drawing, like like I I know a bit about that stuff. Like, is that recognizable yeah. to me as you're tracing it back to? Okay. Yeah, like yeah, you're recollecting uh, it. That's all. Okay, recollecting That's... it. I'm a I'm a I'm an academic character. 
I know about You're these also a things. drug addict. I'm just kidding. Yeah, uh, you know. Seriously. No, that's totally fine. Um, In my downtime. Yeah. No, that's completely 100% reasonable. That's all. I wasn't, like, trying to, like, persuade you to not do this. I just wanted to know, how, like, in which way were you, like, well, I have a book that, that I'm going to look this up real quick. Or, like, flashback to scene to me, like, re quickly revealing things about demonology. You know, something like that, right? Like, this is totally fine. No, but just saying recollecting, recollecting stuff is fine. Um, this would be... Um, the way you describe I, like, it, the way you describe it is controlled limited. Uh, sure. That that is actually fine with me. Okay. Uh, so that's a study controlled. Yeah. So you're just you know summoning up the events that you saw, looking for any demonic activity am amongst that. Yeah. Because yeah. you know I I'm on edge, but I'm not like full blown paranoid about shit yet. Yeah. Uh, so I'll just roll it. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, you're pretty sure it's demonic. Ugh, motherfucker. This right. is this is serious. All um, right. This All is right. serious deception magic at work here. So the the just a little bit on edge is is getting is getting worse and like being like really shifty maybe. Yeah. towards the outside but it's more because i don't trust what's going on and not because i'm hiding something right? you're brought to a room um the room looks like it's months it's, once again it smells like dinner um you're brought to a room though but nobody's in it except for a couple guards around um there's a there's a bunch of other doors leading off this room um this room is kind of like one of those like looks to be like it's sort of the um it's like a nexus of a bunch of other hallways in various angles um but once again there's a couple other like these of these cavalry guards um, hanging out here. Um, they, uh, they gesture for you guys. They're like, okay, uh, like, yes, please sit down at the table and stuff. Um, you'll be able to speak with, um, our, our master shortly. Uh, our master and, and, and what do you guys do when he, when he does that? Is that sincere or is that a lie? No, uh, it's completely sincere. I said, what do you do, sir? Uh, the, the so thugs, we're, we're in like the, this the thugs are like I don't like the look of this guys <laughs> and I'm like yeah fuck yeah I don't like it either and we're like starting to like look behind everything what are you like, doing sir everything what are you doing sir Do you, like we're, we're trapped in here but they mean us no harm or at least I can't say that, but they are going to bring Valeris to us. You hear, you hear, like the wall that you guys walked in, kind of like, like grind back to where it was and seal. Um, <laughs> and, and I'm like, see, <laughs> like, well, they're not going to leave a secret door open. Um. Yep. So one of the, uh, I'm just gonna call them curious seers because that's what I think of them as. Um, <laughs> they. One of them brings out a little sigil stone and puts it uh, in front of you guys. Um, it 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 starts to like rumble a little bit and and glow. What do you do? Like cover my crotch and avert my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Have I ever seen anything like this before? Yeah. As um, you know this is like uh the equivalent of like a dusk ball um private communication stone kind of thing oh okay then i i just wait <laughs> i give i give sierra you, know and you have to touch it to answer it oh then i hmm. <laughs> i touch the stone yeah you, like um, you're reaching out for it and sierra's like <laughs> in your head in your head you hear valerius's voice and be like ah oh, hello Hello. I do I do I have I, to speak says, out loud, or can it be just in my head? Um, it's I guess I think it's in your head. It's only in your okay. head. Um, I think both work. Um, but um, he's like, I apologize that I'm unable to meet with you in person. Um, but um, once again, uh, security. Uh, I'm not actually in this room. I'm not actually here. But um. Word has got to me that you guys are looking and you have vital information for me. I must commend you on your security. It is phenomenal. Well, you can't be too careful in these times. 
literally this guy is wanted by everybody right now right (laughs) so like you guys got an audience with somebody who's like you know duskfall's most wanted right now uh by both sides of of what's going on um yeah we're pretty good right so he (laughs) is right so like kudos i'm not i'm not trying to punish you here this was just a really (laughs) difficult thing and you guys succeeded at getting an audience with this guy right Um, so uh as Thaney, is Vale like outside aware still? I would imagine she's just having a conversation in her head. Like she's just casually touching the stone and she hears a voice in her head and she's replying. But she can still see the room. Like she's not like in a trance or anything. All right. Sure. Yeah. So, like, at least that's how I, I mean, that wouldn't be a very good method of communication if it completely knocks you out. Yeah, like maybe you see Seer like kind of hovering over you a little bit. And I'm just kind of like giving you one of these like looks, <laughs> like just cool it, Mister. All right, go. So, I hope word got to you that I am a close acquaintance, friend even of Jewel. She's the one who told me to come seek you out. Oh, I know that already. Tell me, what's the information of import? The information is that the Billhooks want you dead. They believe that you are involved in giving the Skullenders their uh, fake documents. What was the name I gave the um, the Billhooks leader coming out of prison? Do you remember his name? Um, I mean, I, I have it written down somewhere. I just wanted to know if that was there before I, I, I try to judge it up real quick. Well, the guy we um, met that wanted to beat them up was Torvis. That's right. It was Torvis. Uh, or no, it was Tarvel. Tarvel? Yeah, right. I think, I'm pretty sure it was Tarvel. All right, sure. Uh, he's the leader who they got out of prison. Yep. Yeah. Um, he's the one who orchestrated this after you <laughs> met him. Um, this guy's pretty much like a skinhead, if you haven't got picked up on that yet, by the way. Yeah. And, you know, this is not the type of person this is. And so when you mention like the bill hooks or whatever, he's like, oh, Torvis's brute squad. Yes. Yeah. Or Torvel's, Torvel's brute squad. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, friending such savages who only know force. They, they lack the, uh, the air of sophistication. Of They'd rather they cause do, but... blood. Someone needs to do the dirty work. True. They they do have their uses on occasion, but I believe they have overstepped their bounds now. I I wouldn't be friends with them for much longer, if I were you. I would start looking for other friends. Well, that's why I came here. So obviously you didn't come here for consulting advice. What else can I do you for? Oh, it was simply that, that, um... Jewel is a dear friend of mine, and she didn't want you to come to harm. So I came here to warn you because she finds you valuable, and I imagine you are quite valuable. Yes. Well, Jewel, uh, my, my Jewel should know, um, he says in a very endearing way, um, that Valerius is always careful. Uh, Valerius always knows. Um, he's always, you know, eight steps ahead of the game. Then that, um, well, obviously I can't meet, uh, with her, uh, anytime soon in person, but, um, I want, I want, uh, can you please remind her that she owes me a visit that's not business related? I will certainly pass along the message and I hope it will please you to know that, I plan on orchestrating a scapegoat for you. Oh. This is news to me. Uh, He says he's waiting to know more. Well, Hmm. in this world, you can't have too many friends. And, well, to be quite honest, the bill hooks asked me to find you and drag you before them. And I don't intend to do that. So, actually, another thing I wanted to ask, is there someone you want to get rid of? They might prove a marvelous scapegoat. Hmm. 
you're bold. I'll give you that late. Uh, what's your actual name? Your full name? Uh, I don't think you wrote it down. I don't have it. I down. did. I did. But anyways, he says your full name. Uh, Lady Mayo. Juliet Angeline Victoire Cape as my full ridiculous can name. That? Can you type that somewhere so I can have it? And it it's my, actually my on my character sheet under my name. No, I totally just looked at your name. It wasn't there. It is there. Holy shit, it's totally there. I don't know why I wasn't there. Maybe I looked at Jewel instead of Vale. I'm sorry. You might have. You confuse us a lot. <laughs> I do. I totally do. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I've confused us once. <laughs> you did. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> okay. I go. tell Jewel yeah. this. So Wait, I'm. Says, yeah. So he says, like, Lady, uh, you know, you know, Lady, Lady Juliet. Um. Okay. Um. You, you play a very dangerous game. Um, Tarvel for being brash. Um, you can't ser you can't serve up anybody to him. Somebody um, it would have to be somebody connected. Um, he name a name. All right. You want a name? I'll give you a name. <laughs> Those are all terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, none of my friends. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? Obviously, I'm looking for one of your friends. I know you are, and our <laughs> friends suck. This is our best friend. Right These now. are all, all, God, they all suck. They do all suck. <laughs> Ooh, I know who it is. Oh, I know exactly who it is. Um, <laughs> she offered you a job not that long ago. I just have to find on which sheet I wrote down that note. Here it is. Ooh. Um... You, ooh, okay, so how is he going to say this? Um, <laughs> he says the perfect person for being a scapegoat can still do a lot of good for Duskfall. Um, he's saying, he says, uh, Inspector Loretta Salka. Um, I know that name. Has been fighting for the advo advocacy of Scovelanders um, and for f the fairness within the justice system. For a very long time, as well as representing um, numerous cases of um, people, associates of your status, uh, trampling on um, the rights in order to make a quick profit of the poor and the downtrodden. She's a real, uh, you know, she's a real hero, some might say. Um, are you sure you want to toss her over? Perfect. <clears throat> well, it's not what I want. I was asking what you wanted. I tell you this right now that I've always been prepared for a siege. I've been someone who's uh, obsessive with planning. I'm willing to wait this out, let this go to the next thing, the eye of the public in disdain. I, I can weather this storm. So shall I just give the bill hooks your name and then let you cut them down? Well, I was obviously prepared for that contingency. Um, I was prepared that you already gave them their name, thus us speaking remotely and... Please, uh, please understand that my my frankness uh, and mistrust is just part of the business um, side. I truly admire you and, and admire uh, what what Jewel and and everything you do. Uh, no disrespect, but um, got to keep me alive, you know. Uh, no, I understand. So, um, I'm fine either way. Um, I do have a soft spot for our inspector a little bit, I guess you could say. I do like that, uh, I do like all the good she does for the city. It makes me feel good. Um, albeit it's, uh, you know, it's a little bit, uh, you know, it's naive to think that you can make a difference in a world like this. Uh, it's so great as she, um, I admire her spirit.
but um, you're fr you're friends with Tarvel. If you can keep him saturated, uh, if you can deal with the wrath of Tarvel, um, not being able to find me, or can you deal with the wrath, um, and unknown, um, ramifications of stopping, uh, this inspector? That's that's for you to decide. Well. I appreciate you meeting with us and speaking with us. I hear you're a very busy man. Indeed. And I won't keep, I won't take up any more of your time. Very well. By the way, so like this was all done in your head. Yeah. Uh, so like <laughs> Siri, you just like watched her kind of just like sit there. Yeah. I'm yeah. And, and it's probably like because... a stone in her hand and just like rubbing it slightly. Yeah, and and she she's probably practiced. He's like, hold up, hold up, put me on speaker. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if if someone had never used it, they would just automatically speak out loud because that's how they communicate. But maybe Vale is like practiced in it a little bit, where she can keep yeah. it secret. Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, yeah, I can see that. But but like, as soon as Vale is done. Like, Seer is, like, holding up fingers and, like, looking in her eyes of, like... I was... But the thing is, like, I was aware the whole time. Yeah, but, like... So, like, I watched you do that. I'm just, like, giving... I Like, the whole time, I've just been just giving you, like, the side eye. <laughs> and you've been, like, looking for signs of, like, demonic possession. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, she's getting a brand on her skin somewhere. Like, sure. Yeah. Like, this is going, like, horribly <laughs> wrong for Vale. Uh, so, um... Yeah, that the thugs just kind of remarked, like, damn, this guy's this guy's got good protection. I, I set the stone down. Yeah. And um, I look to Seer, and I, I kind of give you a look, and I say, I think we're done here. So what happened? We'll talk about it back at the Painted Lady. Uh, uh, Alright. Alright, sure. They let us leave. They will let us yeah, leave. Yeah, they do. Um, and they do. And when you're ready, no problems. They, you know, they escort you back. The wall opens. You guys That's, leave, and you go out the way you came. Even no worse, problem. I'm like checking all our thugs. If they got like demonic marked, I'm like, no. I, like pull down their collars, like to see the back of their necks and stuff like that. It's like I'm sure something's up. They can't take... let us go. Oh no. Okay, fine. You know what? No, I got. I, I like this. Let's 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 change this a little bit. Um. Yeah, you know what's really weird. The door that you came out doesn't yeah. lead to that shitty, like, hostile hallway. It leads out to, like, yes. behind, like, an opera house. Perfect. <laughs> I take my mask Not back. Not like a good I... opera house, but, like, like a shitty fucking, like, you know, <laughs> um, poor theater. I don't know what I you think call it. I think when we were leaving, we were going to go out the way that went onto the main road anyway. It wasn't, like, like, oh, no, this is not, like, a main <laughs> way. This is just, like, okay. it spewed you out in a different place. Okay. So yeah, I take my mask back, put it back on, and I say, "Let's go." So fucked. All right. <laughs> yeah. How how <laughs> fucked up is that, guys? <laughs> how do you feel about that? This guy. I mean, for someone who's paranoid about demons, this guy's paranoid about security. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm getting I, used to it. <laughs> he literally, he has like everything. Um, yeah, I want to make this guy my friend. Like, I need this guy in my life. <laughs> I need to make uh, this and guy. I'm, I'm, I'm like, fuck this guy. I never want to meet this guy. I <laughs> have to catch him. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, this guy's intense. <laughs> um, and so he so you, he gave you that choice, right? He gave you that choice. Um, you're friends with the Billhooks. You know Tarvel is not going to be okay not finding the bottom of this and stuff, right? And he's always going to be wanting to do this. And he's always going to be dragging you along for shit. Uh, the alternative, though, is that you're throwing over... Um, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're turning on someone who could actually do good for the city. Well, okay, so I think we're going to take this... It's going to be just to, like, fuck over the bill hooks, of course, and, like, kill... Or, or some other thing you guys come up with. I mean, there's that too. Yeah, so we're going to kind of take this decision back to Jewel, talk it all out, come to something we're all happy with, which will probably fuck us over later, but it's fine for now. <laughs> Perfect. 
Cool. Then it's uh, it's a little bit past the hour marks here, so we're gonna go to our first break time. So we'll be back in five minutes, everybody. Ooh, breaks. <laughs> <laughs> 